Well, not necessary. I mean, I think that it really did, Franz Swedo um, really did brought a certain dose of disappointment among uh, the countries who are fighting for the EU. Uh, because, uh, for example, Serbia and Kosovo, um, they could feel that no matter how much they are willing to sacrifice and how much they are willing to actually work toward joining the EU and find agreement between them, they don't see that this will provide them opportunity for, for the joining. On another hand, a good thing from this, and I'm going to mention some positive example, is the creation of this mini Schengen zone, which actually resulted with increased trade and uh, mobility among the countries of Western Balkans only by using um, identity card. And the third thing which I'm going to mention, which is a result of this decision, is um, uh, it seems that U.S. is stepping more in because they did uh, uh, name a new special representative for the Western Balkans recently, Mr. Pamer, and a special envoy which will work toward the Kosovo and Serbia agreements. So it seems that United States are trying to fulfill this gap and help the Balkan to deal with issues.